Do you utilize HubSpot? Let me show you how to integrate it with JotForm Sign. Hey JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly and I'm currently in the desktop version of my dashboard. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create a new signed document. So I'm gonna head up to the top left-hand corner where it says my forms and we're going to choose my sign documents. Next, we're gonna choose the green create sign document button. And if you already have a PDF version of the document that you need signed, you can always utilize the upload document option. But for this example, I'm going to use a template. And to keep things simple, I'm gonna go ahead and use this very first one, the simple one page lease agreement. And one thing I like to do before I start working on a document is I always want to take a quick scroll just to see what I'm working with. So I can see that the landlord is everything in orange and then the tenant is everything in purple. So we can see down here again, the landlord and the tenant. Now, if you are missing any fields, maybe an email field, this is very similar to our form builder. So all we need to do is over on the left-hand side, we're gonna choose add fields and we'll drag the email wherever we would like it to be. And we can see right now, it automatically puts it with the lease. So if we need to change to the landlord or someone else, we can do that very easily. But this is good. So I'm gonna go ahead and head up to the middle tab settings and let's get this integrated with HubSpot. Over on the left, we have our integrations and I can see HubSpot right here in the middle, but if it's not there, whenever you click on integrations, you can always utilize the search option right up here. Next, we need to authenticate our account. Next, we're going to create a new contact or update an existing one. So right here, we have the email address and it's already pulling in for the tenant. If we want, we can add in their full name right here. And if we wanna add more fields, you can. And we can also create a deal if you wanna check this box right here. But for this example, I think we are good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and complete integration and finish up. Now, all that's left is to give this a test. So I'm gonna head up to the send tab and we need to put in our tenants information. Now, if I press send to sign right now, both parties are going to get this document at the same time. And that's not what I wanna happen. I wanna make sure that my landlord gets it first so that way they can pre-populate it. And then once they're done, the tenant gets it second. To do this, all we need to do is turn on signing order. And if it's in the wrong order, all we need to do is just move things around. Super simple. But now we're good to go, so let's go ahead and send to sign. All right, let's head over to the landlord's email. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and review and sign document. We can see it went ahead and populated my name. So just to keep things simple, I'm just gonna go ahead and sign and date. And we'll do sign and complete and accept and send. Now let's head over to the tenant's email and review and sign document. And we can see it went ahead and pre-populated my information. So let's go ahead and sign and date. And sign and complete and accept and send. All right, let's head over to HubSpot. And here is our tenants information, but it's as simple as that. If you have any questions about utilizing HubSpot and JotForm Sign, definitely let us know. If you like this video, be sure to give us a like down below and definitely subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notification every time we put out a new video. And I'll see you next time.